the build show today, we're rewinding time. I'm gonna look a little younger. We're gonna do a blow off test to see how many PSI it takes to blow off various fittings on some PEX pipe. This is an oldie but a goodie with my buddy Jordan Smith who is actually back on the build show. Let's get going. We've got five different PEX connectors and I'm curious to see how many PSI they'll hold before they'll actually pop off. We've got a plumbing testing device here that will pump out some serious PSIs with the idea of how many PSI is it gonna to take to actually blow one of these PEX fittings off? Now we've done a bunch of videos before on several different flavors of PEX, but we've never actually tested how much pressure they'll withstand before they pop off. And I think that this one right here is gonna start us off with the weakest of these. But Jordan, walk me through all the different fittings we've got here. All right, so we've got a five-way arm wrestle here. We've got a single manifold pressuring all of these up to the same pressure every single time. I, the first one is the shark bite push connections. Then we've got the shark bite uh, clamp, and then the shark bite crimp, and then the Giga crimp, and then we have the Propex from Upanor. Which is an expansion fitting, right, with a barb on the exactly. inside. And then this rig, how many PSI can we get out of this, Jordan? Well, this will go up to 14,000 PSI. Ooh. We won't get nearly that on this. I'm thinking maybe a little bit over 500 on the top end one. So we're not gonna be able to see as much resolution as I'd like to eventually get out of this. But the intention of this is eventually we're gonna be doing copper and some other stuff that we yeah. really wanna take up high. So the main thing that we're testing now is it's versus. They're all seeing the same pressure and it's when the first one fails, we'll cap it off and we'll keep going until we have the winner. I like it. We actually have a pool in the office as to which numbers of these are gonna go first. So follow along with us. This is number one, two, three, four, and five here. I think that we're gonna blow the shark bite push to connect off first. And then number two, we'll see. Let's we'll get see. into it. I don't know, we haven't done this before. So you're gonna be following along with us. I definitely think we should put the safety glasses on, Jordan. Although beyond that, I think this is safe. I'm not 100% on that though. Yeah, we've got it with hydraulic fluid and water, so it's not gonna compress and store a lot of bunch, a bunch of uh, potential energy, but we'll see. All right, let's get it shot. All right, let's get going. All right, so can you read, can I be your uh, Vanna White and read mm -hmm. this for you? So the gauge here is quite large. Um, we've got some massive amount of pressure that we can go to on this gauge. But we're basically starting at zero and at the very top of the gauge, we're at 14,500 PSI. We're just starting to move the needle now. Basically, as he's pumping that, it's pressurizing up. I'm feeling it a little bit. Okay. Starting to feel some, oh, we got water leaking out. Do we? We got water leaking out. Where is it leaking it's out? It's leaking of? out of this, uh, this fitting right here. We're gonna have to tighten these fittings a little bit. All right, guys, we're going to cut because we got some water leaking out of these um, threaded fittings. So hang on a second. Let's tighten these up. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we're back. We had a little bit of leakage just right here at the Teflon tape where we had two threaded connections. We tightened those up a little bit, but we can actually see it looks like when we pressurize it, the shark bite fitting's moving. So let's pressurize it. We're going to get a little bit of leakage through the threads, but I think we can get enough pressure to actually pop this. So let's do it. Let's do it, Jordan. Why I'm not a plumber. I'm going to move to the front of the table because I'm not worried about blowing these towards me. No, maybe I am worried about that. Let me come around the side here. That was awesome. <laughs> Dude, you have a credit card. Have a car boil on me. That's uh, hilarious. How much, how much pressure was that, do you know? It didn't even get off the, the, the needle. We'll go back and check the... Well, there check, you go. The shark the bite totally the <laughs> And I've got hydraulic fluid all over me, but we know for sure that the number one to pop off is the shark bite. <laughs> <laughs> you better give us a few minutes to get a quick shower. We'll be back after this quick commercial break. All right, so we moved the test outside. It was getting a little scary to go to higher PSIs inside. We blew that shark bike push to connect off. Let's see what it's gonna take on these four. And I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot more pressure. So we've got a GoPro on here. 
We're gonna stash Jordan behind our tool chest to make it slightly safer. And I'm actually gonna come out behind you where you are on the camera. So let's get going, Jordan, you ready? All right. It's gonna take me a little bit to bleed down the system. I'll be back. Okay, so I'll narrate while I'm, I know I'm off camera here, but Jordan's back there pumping it up. And it takes a while to, uh, to actually pump the pressure into the system. But if we check that GoPro footage, I bet you can see those pipes wiggling. I can see it here. Joey and I are probably 25 feet or so away. So I think we're safe at this distance. But we're gonna keep our eyes peeled for flying pipe. What do you see? I, I think that Upanor pipe Oh, we got a bubble. Oh, <laughs> yes! I'm okay! Yeah! <laughs> we burst the Uvinor pipe. Jordan, right here, Open right in the center or. of the pipe. Holy crap! The Uvinor blew. It blew the center of the yeah. pipe. Not yeah, even the fitting. The fittings were fine. The fittings fine. are fine. And you know, the, uh, the way that you expand that and then it has to go back, we tried the expansion on this type of pegs here, uh -huh. and it didn't expect it didn't expand here as much. So I'm wondering if, as this thing starts to rupture, we'll have to go back and look at the view. But I bet you see a bubble develop, and then as it stretches, that material gets thinner and thinner, yeah. decreasing its ability to wow. withstand the the rupture. And then finally, it just <laughs> through Ooh, the top. That's awesome. All right, so we're gonna uncouple this and cap it. We'll be back in a minute. Hey. All right, so luckily we have our Miller mobile welding rig for Jordan and his crew here. That kind of works nice to have this in the back office. The cool thing about this five port is that when one fails, we can just plug that port and go back again with it. So the Upanor failed number two. Let's see what happens with the other three. We basically have two more shark bite connectors, the kind that you crimp and the kind that has a ring. And then we also have the Vega, which is a crimp style as well. So it's gonna I be think, interesting to see on those three. I think from here on out, we just fell at the, uh, at the actual pipe. At the pipe? You don't yeah. think the fittings are gonna fail? I don't, I don't think so. I'd be surprised, I think. Oh, that'd be a pretty interesting result if it's the pipe that fails before the fitting, which means that if that's true, Jordan, the only fitting that fails in this whole scenario is the shark bite push to yeah. connect. Here, now you got that pipe off. Let me, let me show yeah. these guys this pipe. So this pipe is PEX A, which is the more flexible of the pipes. And check out that burst right there. You can see where it, the wall got thinner and it burst through. Unfortunately, we don't have a good pressure gauge because we've got hydraulics. So we don't know what pressure that was, but I think it's really interesting that these fittings, they're good to go. It literally was the middle of the pipe that failed, which is crazy. I would not have expected that. It also shows how much crazy PSI we've got on there. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised at all if we had a gauge on there if that failed at 300 PSI somewhere in there. Which so obviously be? your home plumbing system is nowhere near that. All right, let's get back to it in a second. We are reset up. We have all of our eyes and our limbs still intact, and we've got three pipes to go. All right, Jordan, let's pump it up. Let's pump it up. Remember, guys, we've got Sharp Bike, Sharp Bite, and Vega. PEX. These are all PEX B pipes. And Jordan is pumping it up. We got the GoPro back there again. Let's see what happens. All right, we're off the needle. It's going up. All right. Uh, oh, something popped. What was that? What was it? Oh, it's the backside of the uh, Vega. No way. Look at that. Another wall failure. Backside of the Vega, people. Another wall failure. Another wall failure. So in, far. In the non shark bite, because yeah. shark bite, shark bite. Vega. Vega Upanor. Yeah, so Vega is the one that failed that time in the wall. So Pex B. Wow, that is it. So I was watching it back there. Can on... you have any idea what the gauge hit, Jordan? Yeah, yeah. So we were we were over. My guess is probably close to 500 PSI when that went. It's hard to tell on that, on that gauge. We'll get a better gauge and we'll actually be able to test where each one of these pipes fell in yeah. future videos. But it's super cool that, again, the, uh, the, the yeah. connectors are Connectors are, are super fine at this point. We got to plug it and keep going, people. 
Let's do it. Our YouTube friends want to know what happens, Jordan. What happens? <laughs> All right, quick 30 second timeout. We'll be right back. Does it look good enough? Oh, I got it. He got it. He's a rock star. It's kind of funny that we're doing plumbing tests and yet Jordan and I are absolute newbies when it comes oh. to actually plumbing. <laughs> we just know a lot of facts and stats and have done a lot of plumbing at our own houses, right Jordan? Yep, I can make things blow up and leak. I don't know whether I can actually make a good non-leaking non connection. <laughs> non connection. And the point of this test was to make a leak, yeah. so. All right, y'all, we got two left. Shark bite shootout. Both shark bite pipes, both pecs, same exact pipe, different fittings. Let's see if we get any different results here. We're gonna pump it out and see what the winner is. Come on, Jordan. Let's get going. Okay, so we got the GoPro going again. I got it set up in there. We got the tight camera going. Let's see what we find. Oh, we got a failure. We got a failure. Did you get sprayed? <laughs> it is another burst pipe. Could you tell any that it was a, any higher pressure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a solid 500 when it went and it blew out right under my protection. Did it really? Oh, yeah. dang. Through, it, it bounced off the parking lot onto you? Yeah. So here it is right here. It's burst off that backside. It's yeah. kind of hard to see. Look at that. Very dark back there, but it's a pipe, clear pipe failure. We got one pipe left. I think we should burst it, let's, don't you think? Let's burst it. All right. Let's Give us a second this. and we will reset. Okay, y'all, last pipe. Let's see what happens. This is shark bite. We only have one left on the rig, and this time we've got a camera back here on the pressure gauge. So I'm hoping Jordan can give us a reading on there. Let's do it, Jordan. You ready? Let's do it. I think we're rolling on the slow-mo. Let's go. Do it, do it. And we're commencing the pumping. Commence the pump. All right, so we are up to 500. 500? 500 already. Ho! Oh, and, and back down. So out the just... front, out the front. Oh yeah, here we go. We can see it right here, Jordan. Yeah. It's right here. Oh, that one fit. That one's even more dramatic. Yeah. It's just barely out the. It's just barely out the. Uh... Can you pop that gauge off so we can see it? So the shark bite PEX is a PEX B, which is less flexible than the PEX A, which was that Upanor PEX, which was really the first one of the PEXs to fail. And look at that. Oh man, that's a big old slip. Yeah. That's but it, wild. It's the highest pressure. It's a higher, 500? Near, just nearly 500. And we were just a little below that on this one, so it looks like that shark bike, shark bite pecs can get up to nearly 500. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. The Vigo was a little less than that, but it looks like a really similar style where it doesn't pooch out a whole lot and then it has a dramatic kind of a lip that happens right there. Whereas in comparison, you can really see that the Upanor stretched out quite a bit. That yeah, Pex A, that thinning right there. very thin on that wall, and then it bursts. And you can actually, if you look at it from a cross section there, you can see how much wider the pipe became in that section. Which, before which it makes sense because this type of connection here, you're actually expanding the pipe. That's one of the benefits of this one is you've got the full diameter as yep. you go through there because you expand the pipe before you put on the connection. Right. So the fact that this expands and ruptures makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. And then of course our very first one, which is that shark bite. I wish I knew how many PSI it takes to we're, blow one of these we're off. Going, we're going to retest that because this is the this is the only one. Like none of this is realistic. All, All of right. these will will manage in a normal plumbing. Normal plumbing. Yeah. I mean, there's there's no real world takeaway from this except that it's interesting. But what's cool about this is this is the only one that failed in the fitting. Right. So clearly. Right. The, everyone else will take whatever your PEX is rated for, your fittings are going to take that a and higher more. And more, yeah. a higher rating. Exactly. But to where this, this one... Right, it's the fitting that fails long before the pipe exactly. fails. Exactly. Pretty cool. Guys, like I said earlier, I don't know that there's necessarily a big takeaway here. And all three of these brands, these are great brands. If you've put one of these in your house, I don't think you have anything to worry about. In fact, we've plumbed houses for years with Vega. We've recently started using Upanor. I've not put shark bite in a house before, but now that I've seen this test, I can tell you there may be some trolls that, that uh, are dogging on it, but it did really, really well in these tests. Yeah. I don't see any issues with any of these systems. Yeah. 
Any other takeaways stuff. you can think of, Jordan? No, except for that, like you said, the trolls. That you know, when you see something in big box stores and you think, well, that can't be good stuff. And this stuff you have to buy from a plumbing supply. That's got to be the better thing. A lot of times that's true, right. but in this case, it's not. That's, yeah. the, I was impressed by the shark, but I didn't expect that. For sure. Guys, comment below. I'd love to know what your takeaways in this video are. What do you think about those shark bite push to connects? Do you think there's any other takeaways that Jordan and I missed on that? Hit a comment below. All right, guys, we wanted to rerun this to show you that we actually have Jordan Smith back on the Build Show. Jordan's a brand new contributor over on thebuildshow.com. When he left me four or five, six years ago, He's been out building houses. He's a very accomplished building science teacher. We've got Jordan back. We've got some brand new videos on thebuildshow.com with Jordan. So my hope is that you'll go follow him on Instagram and you go check out all his brand new videos on thebuildshow.com. With that being said, guys, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on The Build Show.